Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and to the homegrown project with Villarreal. This episode we're going to do the double header of Atletico Madrid and Real Besiktas, which is only a few games after our last episode where we played the triple header of Barcelona, Sporting Gijón and Real Madrid. So let's jump into the episode and quickly show you what's happening and get into today's games. Right, since the last episode we played four games. We started off with a 2-0 winning at SD Ibar. Very good performance there. We went two 0 up from a penalty which Selic Saric was sent off in. So quite pleasing there. We had to rotate the team up due to fitness and injury still, but other than that, we had a good result. So quite pleasing there. After Ibar, we played Real Sociedad, lost one 0 so a little bit disappointed with this one. Again we had more of the possession now, we just couldn't score. Our strikers were not having the best day in the office but what can you do but we moved on to Real Besiktas just beat them 3-0 Sands was immense hat trick from him penalty in the 89th, 87th minute to get the winner or to get the hat trick I changed the system up slightly which is slightly different to what we're playing today but I'll still show you it this is what I went for in this game but I've actually changed up I moved this player back down here so I'll show you the system in a minute because I want to still keep the left wing because Ramirez is bloody marvellous. He's one of the best players in the team. Just look at him. Bliss. And I want to get Hernanez, who's just an excellent striker on the pitch and hopefully scoring. He's not done that well. He's got 9 and 13 total. Um, only 2 in the league, which is a little bit frustrating. Sands has picked up form since changing to this formation, which I don't know why his stats are going down. Let's change this to advanced ball because that's what we're playing now anyway. So I want to sort of try and get this to work or we have a slight adaption to this. So let's sort of jump into today's game. No, quickly, we play Athletic Bilbao as well, beat them 1 0. 38th minute goal by Sands took us to win there. Again, same formation. So let's jump into today's game and see how we get on. And I want to get rid of that. Uh, we've changed up to this. Let's just quick pick that. And um, Ramirez is eligible against his parent club, so that's fine. Let's see so he's going to play on this left hand side because he can play left hand side. He's naturally a left hand sided player, so I'm not fussed by that. He can play there. With Edo sitting in the middle, he's going to drop deep. Duran's going to move forward, and I think they play better the other way around. Yes, they do. So that's even better. Other than that, it's same team. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with this um, role just yet. He's doing well. He's dropping in here and that, but I'll sort of go through as we're going on and show you what it's actually doing. We're currently sitting in 7th. We will move up to 6th. We're on 25 points. If you see me doing this, I'm looking around my microphone because it's just sat right in front of the corner of my screen. So anything in, in this bottom corner I can't fully read without moving my head. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. So let's see how we get on. And they're going with 4-4-2. Godin, Jimenez, Gulam, Old Black and Gold, Griezmann, Strootman, Bentaleb, Gulen, Z Gomez and Manir. Again, very strong team. And a very strong bench as well. So let's see how we can get on. And if we keep playing with two strikers, I'm going to have to buy another one in... January because we've only got the two. And um, what's that's done there? Yeah. And we could do with a third as a backup. But we've got plenty of players on the radar I can look at and bring in. But we'll just see how this goes first and sort of see what happens. You never know. As strike a free kick straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. So we're playing a more of a control system, so trying to keep the ball. Nothing to mental as they've broken him behind he shoots and they've gone one up mm. that was literally one thing to another I wasn't seeing it coming ah damn 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 who was that who's was, who's was number six Ramirez has lost the ball and wants them there our keeper should get closer to that but bleh. That's frustrating. 
it's just I want to get a two striker system working, but I need I want at least a left winger. <laughs> but then I'm struggling with other places. If you whip the ball in from a corner, Jimenez loses it. And Gomez is in behind again. Don't let him go 2 0 up. And they have gone 2 0 up. Two counter attacks. There's nothing we can do. He just completely counter attacked that. And bugger us up. We just didn't win the ball back quick enough. And it's like, ugh. Easy finish for him again. And we're just not playing well at all. Alright, can we actually have an attack and get a shot on goal that we're going to see because other than that we're not doing anything right let's give them a bollock in and see if they can do better right. where's it going Duran probably not going to get anything from this Sands is not playing well. Now I said he's playing really well. He's gone and gone. Nah, stuff you. I'm gonna not turn up today. <laughs> right, advanced tactics. I have to switch it back to this one. Hernandez up top. Sand is coming off. So who's coming on? Bring Vasquez on and switch him and Suso around. Edo should be back there for Tigaru. And just do that. Imnez isn't playing well, but I don't really want to take him off. I don't really have a, have a natural left back on the bench, so. It's like, yeah. Is there come forward with it? Manir. Don't let him score. Saved by um, Portillo into Duran. Jimenez. Why? Why do that? Why play the long ball? It's easier to pass it to Duran again in the middle. I just can't seem to find a formation that I'm happy with or that is doing exactly what I want. But some games it does, then some day games it's like no stuff you, we're just going to forget everything you put on us and ask us to do and just hoof it down the field. Like, no, that's not what I've asked any of you players to do. So I'm really sort of struggling to find a formation I'm happy with sticking with. As we're coming forward, can we get a consolation? Hernandez broken in behind, shoots. Could have passed it off, but didn't. He went for the shot. And Old Black with the easy save. Which is frustrating. Other teams get in position of that, and they score it. We get in positions there, and we don't score it. As we have a crack, but not going to get anything from this. And they are just lethal on that counter. That sort of screwed us over. They won the ball back, just went straight down the other end, put it in the back of the net. Disappointing to concede two goals like that, but they're a top quality team. And it was always going to be a struggle. So, I'll tell them that. We'll sort of jump forward to the next game against. Um, who we play next? We'll beat Petitas in the second leg and see how we get on against them. So, I'll see you in just a moment, guys. Right, we're going to get into this game. They're going. With um, a team I don't recognise many of the players. Sanabri, I recognise the Turbe, um, Mabai, Akore. There's a few in there I recognise. I don't recognise many of the others, but we're going with this formation again. Ramirez, Avaro, Rodrigo, Jimenez, um, Manu, Edo, Duran, Ramirez, Sands and Hernandez. We'll try and hopefully have a better performance this time. And just quickly switch those two around. Do that, do that, do that. And hopefully get a better performance from the lads. And what can we expect today? Anything better than the last game would be nice. 
we've got the 3-0 lead, so it's not really... How is our midfield being outnumbered? There's four players there. Like, really? They got three, and they're being outnumbered. That makes a ton of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> and the first half is gone. So we'll tell them we're unhappy. And hopefully actually see something in the second half. Because I wasn't expecting that literally to go from there to there and be done that quickly. Ramirez, our stri both strikers are playing poorly. I can't seem to get a two striker system to work. And I can't seem to get a one system one striker system to work either when I'm playing with an, an attacking midfielder. What am I meant to do? Any suggestions? Put them in the comments because I'm still struggling. I'm going to have to try changing it up. But, I don't know. Yeah, sand is coming off. I need to go into that one while this is going on anyway. Sand, Edo. That way, that way, sand's coming off for Sousa. And we didn't see any of that, but it makes no difference because nothing's happened. As Ramirez whips it in and does Hernandez, and he's just played it against Why not shoot straight away? I don't have work the ball in the box on or anything. It's literally get the ball there and put it in the back of that net. I don't really know what to do with this formation, really. I'll mess around after this episode and sort of see if I can come up with something. But I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> but that's literally the only highlight we've seen is that one there. And maybe this one. As Suso nods it in, Edo. Has a very poor shot, but that's probably the closest we've come to the goal, isn't it? And if they clear, don't clear the ball, they're going to blow the whistle there. And that was a little bit of a boring second game. But we've, we've gone through. It's all that matters. We're through to the next round. And we get Celta Vigo. Yes, eight hours. I know he's not scored. So when does that give us games in there? Um, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games away. I want to get through this season quickly, so yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to jump 10 games ahead and do the South Vigo Valencia League games because I want to sort of progress quickly. I don't want to sort of hold this up. I sort of want to progress, see if we can get Europa League or Champions League and see how we get on. So guys, if you have enjoyed, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, leave comments down below and let me know what formation you do with the players I've got. And I'll see you next episode for the double header of Tadavigo Valencia. And I'll catch you later, guys. I'll see you then.